Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a review of Planted, a game of nature and nurture, which is for two to five players, ages 10 and up, 20 to 30 minutes, and it's by Buffalo Games. Now the object of this game is to score the most points after four rounds of growing plants. And you can get tools and decorations. So it is a card drafting game, and this shows what the game looked like after we finished our how to play and play through issue. So be sure to check that out. You'll see that there are plants you can acquire during the game. You start out with one plant. Everybody gets a beginning plant. And then you can acquire up to five more over the four rounds. And what you want to try to do is collect water, light, and plant food to grow your plants. You could also get green thumbs, which can be turned in. Every two can be turned in as a, as a wild to be a plant, light, or water. So here, at the end of the game, I grew this plant twice during the four rounds to score six points. And you can only grow a plant once in a round, at the end of a round. I grew this one twice for four points. This one matured, and I scored ten points. And when you're growing it, I had to have each time two plant and one light. You know, why did I want to mature one? Because you can get decorations that give you bonus points at the end of the game. So I gained one point for each full grown plant. I had that too. This one I grew once for three. This one I grew twice and it became mature, so I got an additional point for that for nine. And this one, now there is some player interaction. Julie was going for shelf plants. And this decoration, for instance, if you, there's three different kinds of plants. Oh, that's the one I had, yeah. yeah. There are hanging plants, shelf plants, and floor plants. That's what those three icons are. And so I had two sets. So I got an additional six points for that. Yeah, you did. And at the end here, I did acquire one of these because Julie also had that. I did right here. <laughs> Julie also had that, and I thought, oh, I'm going to deny her. And then, because when you acquire one, a new one will come up and she was able to get it anyway. Now, another thing you can get are tools. And tools can be combined. So Julie had two watering cans. Unfortunately, she didn't get, you want to get tools early on to get the bonuses. But when she gets these resources here to water, every two water she gets, she'll get a water. So if she had, the, she had one of these early on, she was getting lots of water. Mm -hmm. uh, but if when you stack these, for every two water she gets, she would get uh, two more water. So two would become four with that tool. See, I didn't know that. Well, you got it late, late mm -hmm. on, later on. This one, for every two light, she gets an additional light. And tools you'd want, There's and you can one. get bonus cards with tools as well. This tool here. You get a, three, a green thumb for every one light resource. So how do you get these cards? I've been talking about how it's a card drafting game. <laughs> So here's the pile, and each character would get six. I mean each player. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of other games we play. We are characters, <laughs> but... <laughs> so you get six resource cards, and it wouldn't be drawn from the discard pile. Again, I'm just showing you what the game looked like at the end here. And you get two items. And items can be a mixture of decorations and tools. So each player looks at their beginning hand of eight and you decide which card would you like to play to add to your resource resources to grow your plants so if i i need so if we we're still playing say we we're playing a fifth round i need lots of water to grow this one so i'm looking at okay i have a two water here so i would take this one and put it face down now i could do a decoration here which would score at the end of the game and then I'd put my pile over here to show that I'm done, and then Julie would get to we'll, we'll get to look at that one after she's done picking hers. So, Julie, she needs lots of sunlight. Sunlight and plant food. Right. So I would take that double plant food. Yeah, she'd take the double plant food probably. Mm -hmm. Now taking tools at the last round of the game is not going to help you. Uh, so you want to take the double food probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she'd put yep. that face down, and then she'd give me her pile. Then we reveal our cards at the same time. Julie gets her two plant food. Go Thank right you. here. Yep. I get my two water. Now let's say Julie played the water instead because of her tools. 
she would get two water plus the two bonus water. She would get just that one card alone, she would get four water. Let's say I played the two plant foods, so let's say it was reversed. <laughs> then we're done. Now we look at the seven cards that remain and pick again. We keep on passing around. Now on a three or four player game, on it would go left, go clockwise for round one, and then on round two, it goes counterclockwise. Round three, it goes clockwise again. Mm. Round four, it goes... Oops. Uh, <laughs> what did I say? I forget the order I was doing it in, but it, it reverses directions. When you're done getting all, playing all eight cards, then you grow your plants. But there's one other thing you can do besides grabbing it for resources or taking it as a tool or taking it a decoration. You can inst instead say, let's say I play this card, Julie plays this one. I flip mine up, Julie flips hers up, and I say nursery, and she says nursery. That means now we're going to try to acquire another plant. You can only have six, but let's say I didn't have this one. And Julie didn't have her six plant. Now, you don't have to do nursery at the same time, but say Julie did. We look at the numbers here on the bottom right, bottom left, sorry. Since we both are doing a nursery action, I would go first because I have a 2 on my card, and hers is a 52. So that's how you settle when players take a nursery action at the same time, who gets to pick first. And it may end up you might take a plant that someone else wants. And you could use any card for that. It doesn't have to be a resource card. It could be a tool. They have numbers on it too, and so do decorations. So I would pick first, and I would add it. Say I did this one, and then Julie would pick. And then Julie would pick hers, and say she picks this one. Okay. Now what happens in between rounds here? You feed your plants. Let's say I didn't. Say I had a situation like this. I didn't get a lot of resources, and I had a couple of green thumbs. And this happens simultaneously. See, I, I've already matured that plant. Can I even do anything here? Oh yeah, I can. I got two plant food. No, I'd have to have more. Let's say I had this. Because <laughs> we're, we're, you know, the game's already ended. Let's say if I was going to grow this plant, here's two plant food and two sunlight. And I couldn't use the other ones because I don't have enough. Well, I could do this one to the two green thumbs to be a water and two water here and grow that one. So let's say I did that. I would cover it up. That would score me three points at the end of the game and this would become a mature plant now. Let's say for instance that was already matured and I had these resources left. You may wonder why are these leaves sitting here? Well, because you got to spend all your resources at the end of your turn. They don't carry over. What you can do is propagation. You take little plant parts and you try to, and you put them in, in water and glass and to be planted in soil later on. So for every two resources that you have that you don't spend, you can get a propagation and that's worth one point at the end of the game. The green thumbs can also, so let's say I just had one water, they can e equal a resource and then I would have, still get my propagation. But in this situation, it doesn't matter what two I spend these would be removed and these would be wasted. So that's the resource management part of the game. So you add up all your points, each propagation is worth one, any bonuses from decorations, and then whoever has the most points wins. So you can see that on the how to play and playthrough. So now, what are we gonna do, Julie? We are going to give you our pluses, our minuses, and our neutrals, and then after we do that, we'll tell you how we rated it on the BGG scale. All right, so here we go. All right, I go first. I think this is a really fun family plant game. I just, oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. And as you can tell, I have all pluses, so you know I like this one. It was very easy to learn and play. Um, the pieces are really nice. I really, really like them. They just feel fun in your hand, you know? It just, you can almost picture like you're, you're holding raindrops. I mean, it's just, it's really fun. Let me show some more. Okay. There you can see them. Buffalo Games, I'm really impressed with what they're able to, it's really to accomplish cool. with the price point mm -hmm. of this game. The Willy Wonka game is well done, and other games they have produced. Okay. Um, Playtime is really good for two people. Um, I at first was a little nervous because there was a lot going on. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be a really long game. 
but you're so involved and it goes by so fast that, you know, half hour goes by and you're like, oh, okay, that was good. You know, I, I had fun and I'm not too tired. It doesn't stress your brain out too hard, which is, I love. Well, that's why you say it's a family game. Yep. Perfect for that. And the player interaction is actually really good. You really do interact because you are looking at what, you know, everything is out in the open. So you can say, see like, oh, David's going for this and I have, you know, water in my hand, but there's only, you know, maybe he doesn't have any. I'm going right. to take it and deny him. And so it's like, baby, take that. You know, it's not like right. so real if, malicious. Maybe I don't need water, but I know Julie does. So I may use, I may take this water to either deny her mm -hmm. or to use it to buy a plant. Right. So she won't get it. So, but it's not mean. It, it, it's not mean at all. Um, well, and it's, I, okay, you should say it's a little mean. I but said it's, it's baby take that. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's baby. It's not real mean it's like not other games. It's not malicious no, like some games no, no, where no. you're directly attacking. It's kind of like you're denying people yeah. things. Yeah. And I found the art to be beautiful. And it truly does make me want to go buy more plants, which yeah. this guy over here will be like, no, Julie, you have enough. You're yeah, fine. They have enough because you don't survive. They do. That, my <laughs> plants are doing very well. Thank you very well, much. Well, now they are. I have four of them and they're just rocking it. But it does make you want to go out and buy more. And yeah. they're just, I love it. I love All right, it. so let's see what I have to say. Okay, so it's a fun family way to score the most points. Planting theme with card drafting and set collection. You said what I said with lots more words. Well, I, I included the, the mechanics. <laughs> so if those are your kind of mechanics of card drafting, like Seven Wonders and set collection games, this is up your alley. It is easy to learn, teach, and play. Uh, learning from the rule book. This rule book is well done. Good job, uh, Buffalo Games. Your, your rule books tend to be well, tend to be well done. I had no problems with this. I know this would score high on my performance list it's as part of my dissertation. They're, they have a really good rules editing in here. They even even include an index of all the cards. That's nice. Not all companies do that. So good job, Buffalo Games, on their production with that. E amazing pieces and nice art. The pieces, as I mentioned already, it's amazing. The price point and the quality pieces here. Other companies would probably charge ten to twenty dollars more oh. for a game with these components. And the cardboard is nice here, these mm -hmm. card. Now the one thing that, that they need to improve on, because other games we have of them have been, have had issues. We had to sleeve our Willy Wonka game. And this game does have issue. Oh, with the cards? With the cards. Mm. You really gotta press them sometimes, they can stick. They are easy to shuffle. But when you first open them, mm -hmm. they stick together. And you might have to shuffle like this at first. See, I'm having to go like this to make sure they're not sticking. Uh, that's my only complaint is they need to improve their card stock with their cards. So it's engaging decisions with some player interaction and we already talked about that. Now the engaging decisions is you do feel tension is, wow, I only have these cards. I do, I know I need these three cards, but I can only take one right now. You pass it, you hope you get it back. You hope you get it back. Or you get something from somebody else because with two players, you're going to see what the other deck has. With three players, it's going to take you two rounds to see. Mm -hmm. With the other and four players will take you three rounds to see what everybody has on the fourth, or actually on the fourth round. And uh, I wouldn't remember. I don't need with the two of us. I don't even remember what. So I, yeah. It's a good tension though, mm -hmm. because you have to decide. Wow, do I take this or that and hope it comes back around? Right, right. Or maybe there'll be something like that, and the deck that you get passed to you. Mm -hmm. So a low level of take that, as we've already discussed. I mean, some people won't even pay attention. And the science and math connections, I could use this in the classroom, it, and I could teach this comfortably to students, at least in small groups or an after-school program. Mm. Uh, especially in a gifted and talented program or AP honor situation, where you have students that can have the attention span, this would be perfect in those classroom situations. Now, if it's a regular classroom situation, you would have, I don't know if uh, students can manage each other in small groups enough to play a game of this much complexity. Mm -hmm. But I know when I used to teach gifted and talented in AP, the kids in those classes could handle a game like this. And that's why it's perfect for that. The math in itself, adding all the totals here, and then the science of growing plants would be a great way as enrichment or to introduce a plant unit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go into a lot of detail like the Celios game that we, we backed on Kickstarter. You can see our other review and how to play of that. That game goes into too much detail. Yeah. That would be 
It's, like it's definitely a small group situation. Whereas this game, I know that if I teach my leader students mm -hmm. how to play this, say I have four leader students, they can in turn take a copy of this and teach it to other kids sure. in an honors AP yeah. or gifted and talented situation or after school situation. So we're not, it's not too often that I talk about educational connections, but this one would be one that when I used to be an administrator and we had, I would acquire games for my teachers to use in their mm -hmm. uh, pullout groups. I would have, I would have six to eight copies of this. I would definitely order that many if I was still in that position. We moved away. Yes, we did. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at how we rate it. We both said eight. Yeah, enjoy playing. I would suggest it. So yep. this is a, a game that is higher up on our list that we're more likely to suggest, hey, you want to play that? Yeah. Could become a nine or ten over time, and I think it could become a nine or ten if they if they do some expansions. Oh, that would be cool and cool. Because yeah. this game is ripe for expansions by adding more decorations mm -hmm. or tools or different kinds of plants. Can I ask a question real sure. quick? Sure. You know how you said you can double up the these tools? Can you double up yeah, decorations your decorations too? Yeah. too? Oh, you okay. Can. Yeah, you can. All right. So could this be a nine or ten with with expansions? Because these are they're not even going into plants that are tropical. Oh. In those situations, because those are more difficult to grow. Sure. At least I don't think they're doing tropical plants. I don't know. Uh, or plants that produce food. See, I haven't. I don't know. And then maybe you could. Maybe there could be bonus situations where the plants grow and then you get and you uh, get food out of it, or you grow flowers. Uh, so right now, this is more like decorative plants, mm -hmm. but they could do an expansion where it's plants that produce things yeah. that, that you grow to eat, or yeah, that kind of planting okay. situation. So anything you want to add? No, I think you said it all. I just, I think it's a really fun game. And like I said, if I could, after we did get done playing, I would have him take me to Lowe's or Home Depot so, and I'd go get a plant. <laughs> yeah, we have enough plants. Now the plants are growing better because we don't yes, they are. we have better blinds now. <laughs> window coverings. Yes, window coverings. coverings. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. All right, that is planted. Thank Thanks you for watching. so much for watching. We appreciate all of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't yet, please, you know, think consider doing so. We'd appreciate it. All right, See thank ya. you. Bye bye.